good morning y'all so it's literally a little bit after seven you wonder why i'm up so early it's because i'm about to go and try to catch this truck at kroger's um my homeboy just told me to be there before eight o'clock eight o'clock is what time the store open and y'all know this whole coronavirus thing i was not able to be one of the lucky ones that went grocery shopping and was able to stock up so this is why i'm up early going to the store grab my food as well as all my tissue and stuff because who knows how everything is going to go but i just want to semi be prepared like we could never be all the way prepared because i know for a fact i'm not prepared financially but i can do what i can do so let me hit this store and i look crusty as hell got these fucking bags under my eyes but whatever y'all so i'm about to head to the store so let's go y'all like this whole situation dealing with um this whole quarantine lockdown spring break spring break slash cd whatever cold name they use for this coronavirus stuff this is just showing people true colors some people are very ignorant um some people are very selfish you can tell who's actually taking proper precautions for what's going on you could tell who's basically just playing stuff by ear it's just everything is just wilding at this point but me um i know my immune system is not at its top best so that's the only reason why i'm afraid i always been like the biggest germaphobe like, I always kept, you know, myself from catching germs. Like, I always quarantined myself in a way. Like, I always kept sanitized. Like, I'm always wiping down stuff. Like, I'm, like, that always been me. But now, the simple fact that I can't find the items that I really need, like, it's, it's really crazy. So, that's why I'm, like, glad I have the type of friends that I have because boo-boo. I'm about to go to this Kroger's. I'm not about to be greedy. Like, some of these other people walking out with cases of stuff. Like, I just don't understand. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, why are you doing that? It's not that deep. I mean, let me not say that. It may be that deep, but you you do live in a city of other people. So, I'm going to get what I need. I'm trying to teach my kids about how to prevent themselves from catching germs or spreading germs. And I just got my black seed oil yesterday. And I hear nothing but good stuff about black seed oil. So... I'm going to start taking that. I'm trying to get hold of some sea moss. And, you know, I'm just going to try to boost my immune system to its highest peak for this time being, which I know is something I should have been doing. But, you know, it's never too late to start. So, at this moment, with all the cases, with the numbers rising, like, I'm not trying to be one. Like I said, I know my immune system is not at its best, so I'm, like, an easier target. I'm not sure... I don't know. I really need to look up on what the symptoms are and stuff because, you know, just to be on the safe side. But, yeah, I'm heading to the store. I left my kids at home sleep. And Bentley has a veterinary appointment this morning. He's been limping on his back leg. What Bentley did himself, I don't know. But I have to take him to the vet this morning. And his appointment's at 930. So I literally have a complete hour. The store opened up at 8 o'clock. So I literally have a complete hour to shop get home a load my car get bentley in the car a little after nine and be to the veterinary by 9 30. and i can't wait i literally sat here and talk to y'all for like three minutes but i'll let y'all when i get inside the store All right, y'all. So I just came back from the grocery store. It was an epic fail. It wasn't nothing that I needed, basically, um, on the shelves. <sighs> y'all, I'm out of breath. But um, I was able to get some stuff like cereal, you know, like the box stuff. I was able to get that. And y'all, look what I found. I looked up on finding some cute sunflowers. 
Um, they're not all the way fresh, but they look more decent than the ones I've been seeing in the stores. So, yeah, now I just got home. Kids are unloading the car. The few groceries I did get. And I have to get Bentley over to the vet because he's about to get checked out. <sighs> Y'all, I'm tired. I woke up early for no reason. I really went for like meat and cleaning stuff. But, you know, still early in the week. My trucks are coming in. So we shall see what we get. <laughs> to go i came to the vet because bentley has been limping on his back leg i didn't know why but they basically told me why that his knee basically locks out of place and it takes time for it to lock back in place it's nothing for me to be alarmed about but anyway bentley was updated with all his vaccines so we're waiting to check out and we're about to go home and get some mcdonald's say hey bentley He's kind of sore, y'all. Like I said, he just got a couple of shots. Has anyone been in the checkout yet? Yeah, she coming back. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Ooh, I look rough. This one's getting stronger. Y'all, so I made it home. Billy is right by my foot resting. I brought a rotisserie chicken from Sam's the other day. So I'm about to take this time, cut me out some slices, make me a nice little sandwich. Finish editing my daughter um, YouTube video so I can go ahead and put it up on her channel as well as start um, writing down some content so I can upload throughout this week. Cause I'm gonna utilize all this time I have for the time being um, I'm supposed to go to training Monday, unless they tell me otherwise that I have to wait for my new job, but that's the plan. So that'll be another, you know, week vlog in itself. But yeah, so right now I'm just going to enjoy my chicken sandwich and finish editing, finish, finish editing so I can upload and... I don't know. Oh yeah, I gotta work on some waist bead orders. Man, why is this chicken not cutting? Like, what the hell? Oh, I got a string. Duh, I forgot. Y'all know my arms still hurt a little bit, so I have to be careful with how I do stuff. Whew, finally cut that string off string was holding this leg down yes sir i just dig off the rest of that meat oh y'all just love sounds with this chicken mm. and what y'all doing during this time of this whole madness of this virus and y'all i was out and about yesterday right you know doing some last minute pick-me-ups I was I looked like a straight bum yesterday. Yeah, I looked like a straight bum today. But I looked like a real straight bum yesterday. My shirt was bleached. I had on oversized men's sweatpants. Had on the oversized tee. Some black socks in my slides. And I just kept running into everybody. I'm looking like, you know what? 
I know we can't be cute every day, but the day I decide to look like this, that's when I run into everybody. But you know, it is what it is. We can't be cute every day. But anyway, y'all, let me do what I got to do and I'll be back to chit chat with you all. Oh, sorry y'all i know it's a little dark i'm sitting down here on my floor and oh i need to spruce up myself I need to make get myself up looking tip top shape because your girl don't be looking as bummy but anyway i'm on the floor now working on some waist speed orders um yeah so my nail bed still hurt and mess dealing with these little beads i don't pop myself in the finger <laughs> y'all i'm just going through it today but i'm about to catch up on all american because that season two done came on netflix and i'll holler at y'all later